Morning guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard and I'm an automotive enthusiast. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me. Today we're going to be working on the 2015 Dodge Dart. We'll be working on removing the quarter panel uh, so that we can see the underlying damage um, you know, behind it and continue on with this project. We'll need a couple of tools to get started. Let me take you over to the tailgate and show you what we're going to use today. Well, we've got our 3M belt sander. This is going to be used to uh, grind the spot welds off of the quarter panel. We've got the belts for the belt sander. We have this quick strip uh, brush that will go on the end of a uh, corded drill, which I don't have here. Um, we've got a couple of various different uh, grinding wheels and uh, grinders so that we can clean up the seams when we are done. Before we get to any sort of cutting on this car, what we need to do is we need to remove this bumper bracket. Um, it's got one 10 millimeter bolt left in it and there's at least two, uh, if not three rivets we'll have to drill out. There is a rivet here, a rivet here, and a rivet here that we'll have to take our drill and drill those out. And I think I'm actually going to remove this back piece here as well because you can see the quarter panel goes down behind it. So I think this is going to be in the way as well. So we'll pull this out. popping these rivets out the rest of the way. We'll have to do this piece here because you can see the seam of the quarter panel is right here and we're going to have to get all the seam sealer and panel bond off in order to get the quarter panel off. see we got the bumper bracket off we get the bumper bracket off back here we can now take our cordless drill excuse me our corded drill um, and we're gonna work on getting this seam sealer and panel bond off because you can see the spot welds are right here so we'll have to grind those out with our 3m uh, grinder and but in order to do that we've got to get all this uh, seam sealer and panel bond out of the way got our Corded Milwaukee drill here. These guys aside for the moment. And we've got our Avanti Pro quick strip four inch stripping brush that we will have to go figure out how to open because they make these so incredibly complicated to open. First thing we've got to do here is the bolt in there. You'll absolutely want to wear safety glasses when you're using this. Slide that down. Open up your chuck. Put that in place. Lock it in place tight. This is a great alternative if you already have a uh, a corded drill and you don't have three to five hundred dollars to buy one of those uh, crud cutters from either uh, Eastwood or Dent Fix or Snap-on. This is what I'm going to use in, in place of that for the moment. We'll see. This is the first time I've used it so we'll see how it works but it seems to be a great alternative. So now we've got this on we've got to go get some safety glasses, some gloves and a um, and an extension cord.
say this, this seems like it's very difficult to control compared to what a pneumat the actual pneumatic uh, like crud cutter would do. This is uh, this is what the brush does. It goes in and cleans all the the seam sealer and stuff off. So now you can now you can take the uh, grinder the, or the little belt sander that I have and grind all the uh, grind all the spot welds out. You can see down here where the seam sealer was pretty heavy. It's nice and clean now. So we can take the little belt sander and sand all these guys out. And take the uh, body separation tool I have and separate it down here. Um, it looks, actually looks like there's a couple of spot welds up here as well that we might have to figure out how to tackle. There's one there. There's a, there's a bunch of them around this uh, this tail light pocket here. So we'll, we'll get to that. Um, the fun part is going to be around this gas door. I'm not sure how this comes off. Um, I have an air chisel that I might you know, take this off in chunks just because uh, I, I don't know how it comes off and it'll be easier for me to see behind it. We'll see when we get that far. Right now I've got to work on getting the rest of this uh, uh, urethane off for the back window. I'm going to probably take a knife and just slice it down to where it needs to go and clean it up because we've got to get all these spot welds undone and I've got to get all any of the seam seal that they put on here out so that's the next step all i'm doing is taking a standard razor blade and slicing it off they do make uh, tools to do this i don't have them right now so we're just improvising and since the quarter panel has to come off anyway it really doesn't much matter on this side The other side, when we clean up the seam, we'll have to be a little more careful on. Now that we've got most of the seam sealer off in this area, we're gonna work on making our initial three cuts uh, to get the panel off. Then we'll switch over to the 3M belt sander and start belt sanding the, um, the spot welds. And we'll take the seam sealer or seam, uh, seam separator tools and start taking the panel off the car. Just to recap, well, first of all, I've got a little bit of a car, piece of cardboard here because the headliner sticks out and uh, probably should be a welding blanket. I don't have one. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to yell about that in the comments, but use what you have kind of deal. Um, so what we're going to do, I've got tape marked on the th three spots that we need to get cut. This is lower than the lot than the sectioning line. The sectioning line is somewhere in, in this area. Um, the reason I'm cutting it lower and we'll make two cuts is when I get the brand new panel, we'll make the new panel longer and then we'll actually cut the two of them together so the line matches up. Um, that way if I goof up here, um, I have a little bit of extra room to play with. So we're going to cut right along this painter's tape line with our, our grinder. We need to make sure not to go too deep because you don't want to go into the, uh, the, other, the other side. So it's a very slow process. You're going to need a steady hand. The tape is using. I'm using the tape as a guideline, so I get a nice st uh, straight, clean line. Um, and then this one, this guy will be a little bit harder here because of all the angles. Same thing with that one. Um, so that's where we'll get started. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
strip back a little more of the urethane. We're going to switch over to our little pad grinder here, clean this up. I'm probably going to go get our Dremel just to do this line here, uh, or the rest of this line. Well, first of all, you can see it walked a little bit um, because I'm right-handed and I'm it just my inexperience. Um, that's why I left a lot of slack, we'll call it. Um, so we're going to go get the Dremel and I'm going to cut the rest of this out uh, just because I don't want to go through the inner shell of the car. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other pillar over here. The reason that I'm using the, the little Dremel is because I have a little bit more control over it for these finer cuts, and I'm not, I'm not a body guy, so um, I'm trying to be very, very careful. You can see I've already sp I popped one of the spot welds already, so we're going to take our seam tool here. There we go. So I got a little bit more to cut there to break that seam loose. broken loose. We're going to do the same thing with this uh, this line here just so that we can um, you know we can have a little bit more control over what's going on. Actually we've got to do this side over here too so we'll do that. Now we have one complete line cut here. Um, one, one of the, it's just before the section line. Um, it actually, considering I don't have any experience doing this, it's the first time I'm doing a quarter panel. Um, and for freehand, I feel like it came out pretty good. It walked towards the end because I was trying to be a little overly cautious. Um, so we're going to do this line now. We're going to use the, the small uh, Dremel tool to, or rotary tool to make this cut because you, this, this metal is Thin and it's right up against the back side of the, the structural part of the car. So we really don't want to, we don't want to go through anything more than the cosmetic sheet metal. So guys, we've gotten two of the three sectioning lines cut. Um, they came out pretty good. I, from what I can see, I think everything looks all right. Um, we have one more down here we have to do. Um, I'm gonna probably work on grinding some of the spot welds first just because uh, it's easier to do those than it is to try and make that last cut. That last cut we're probably gonna have to, uh, well, there's a couple of things. First of all, I should make note when you're doing this, some of these cars, this one does have it. Um, there, are, there is some sound deadening foam. So A, you wanna make sure you kinda of know where that is. B, you should have some kind of fire extinguisher readily available because you're making sparks. I have one right here in my truck um, at all times, just in case. So this bottom section is going to be, uh, this bottom section is gonna be tricky purely because I don't have a lift and there's spot welds and there's a sectioning line um, there's undercoating, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So we may, that may be another, a separate video. I may opt to make the sectioning line up here just so I can, or well, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So first, first what we're going to do, we're going to work on getting some of these, uh, spot welds, uh, with the 3M belt sander cut out, uh, so we can start separating the seam a little bit more and start seeing this panel come off this the car. Probably one of the more expensive tools I've bought for this project so far. There are more coming, but this is so far the 
probably the most pricey tool and the most unique tool that I've added to my collection. This is a uh, 3M body repair belt sander, uh, part number 33575. Um, it was about 170 bucks from Amazon uh, shipped. You can see uh, this is the tool itself, what it looks like out of the box. I have the cover open so that we can put these belts on. Uh, it does not come with any belts, those are separate. Um, this is about a 60 grit belt, uh, part number 33445. I want to say this box was about 25 bucks for 10 count. Um, fairly easy to put on. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it on camera with you, but what you need to do is see this piece here? This holds this part of the linkage back. And in order to, let's see if I can do this with, let's see if I can show you this. What we need to do in order to get the belt out, this is how it puts tension on the belt, is we need to push this back so that the little pin drops down. And now it's, you can see now it's held in place. So this little lever, I don't know if the camera will pick up it on, there's a little pin on the arm and then there's a finger on this lever here that holds it into, uh, holds it into place so that we can then take our belt here and drop it around, drop it around the spindle in the back first and then come around front and get it centered. Once we are comfortable with the way the belt is positioned, we'll press down on the back side of this lever here. And now you have a bunch of tension on the belt. We'll then flip our cover back here like so, tighten it up. And now you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, the only other thing you'll have to do is, uh, I gotta put a fitting on it, so. Um, and we'll have to probably put a little bit of uh, oil in there or pneumatic oil. So then you're ready to rock and roll and start cutting, uh, start cutting spot welds. Our seam separator here and see what we've done. Actually come out pretty darn good. We'll do the rest of it. We've gotten all the spot welds grinded out with our 3M belt sander up here on the pinch weld where the back windshield went. We've got the two, two, of, two of the three sectioning lines cut and now we're gonna work on these spot welds over here uh, where the quarter panel glass went and could probably continue on down this back side and get these, really, these spot welds here released working our way over and under the car until we get to the wheel well. And that's where we'll have to change directions. We also need to come over here to the door jam and grind all the spot welds out over there. Um, so hopefully this quarter panel should be on its way to coming off. So we've gotten most of the spot welds drilled out on this or grinded out on this back part of this quarter panel. The wheel well here, this is panel bonded together from what I've read. So we'll have to put some heat to it to get it undone. Um, I might just take my cutter. I have a pneumatic hammer with a special bit on it and just cut above it, cut around the gas door and figure out how to get those off later. Um, Cause I'm not really sure. So, and this panel is, this panel is no good anyway. So I don't really care if I destroy it. We've got these spot welds up here in this pocket that I've got to finish grinding out. And there's a couple up here. And then I think once, if we made a cut across here, we could pretty much take most of this panel off and see what's going on behind it. And then work on taking, we'll probably take it off in sections just because it'll be a lot easier. Here is our pneumatic hammer, air chisel, whatever you want to call it, uh, air hammer. I've got these Ingersoll Rand bits that I got from tractor supply, uh, part number 9,500. And we're gonna use this guy here. Uh, you can see it's got like a fork. This is what I've watched other guys do to cut the quarter panels. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the package. Well, 
realize this one looked like it has been opened already, but it should be fine. We're going to slide this guy in there like so. Put that in there. And we're gonna screw this guy on here. And just we'll move back and forth in there like so, and we'll make some cuts in the panel. Well, I didn't hit the record button on me. Um, so what I did was I took my ear hammer and fork and the reason I did this, you know, so I'm going to cut it down here. I'm not trying to save this quarter panel. It's obviously destroyed. It's creased up in here. Um, and because I've never removed a quarter panel before, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to damage the underlying structure of the car. So my thought was, and I've seen other guys on YouTube do this, um, was to cut the panel away in sections so that I could start to see behind it. Like this is, this has got a bunch of, you know, it's all, it's all body seam behind it or uh, not body seam, uh, panel bond behind it. So now I can see, now I can see what I'm doing to get this undone without damaging the gas door. Um, same thing over here and same thing along the wheel well. So we're gonna work on taking the sail fin off here. I've got a a little bit of a cut to make there and I have a little bit of a cut to make over here um, just because I you don't know, want to go too far with the uh, pneumatic air hammer where I will damage something in the underlying structure. Um, I also ground out these uh, spot welds so we're going to take the seam uh, breaker and just kind of get those apart and get this top sail fin off. One piece of the puzzle off. See what we got to work with back here. Since we're taking this panel off kind of piece by piece. The next step that we've got to do is take the door striker off and get that out of the way. I'm going to take a marker and just mark all the spot welds that I'm going to grind. And I'll probably end up just doing, I don't know. I got to figure out how I'm going to cut over here because I don't want to cut into the backside wheel well because I'm going to hopefully repair that. Uh, hopefully we don't have to go in and replace that. Um, but I mean, ultimately, the, the end game for this car, I'm teaching myself body work, and so... White, so it's just kind of difficult for me to see where some of them are. you want to be careful of when you're when you're cutting because uh, it can catch on fire from what I have heard so it's uh, better to be safe than sorry all right I just put a little heat to the um, panel bond here and we're gonna make sure it releases which it seems to be doing go. Put a little more heat to it over here. I have most of the quarter panel off here. Now what we're going to do is work on getting these spot welds that I've highlighted here uh, ground out with our 3M belt grinder and we're going to work on, I at least want to get somewhat, I don't know, probably back to like here cut so I can see what's going on in here. Um, and we'll probably do the rest of the quarter panel another day. I don't know that I'm going to have time to get under the car and, and use the wheel and everything on it. <clears throat> and we'll probably have to jack the car up so that I can actually get under it and, um, you know, scrape away all the, uh, under, under the car there's a lot of um, seam sealer. Um, there's a, I don't know, I don't want to call it like a rubberized, but there's like a texturized 
undercoating that's on the rocker panels. We're gonna have to pull all that off so that we can get at the spot welds. <laughs> sound deadening foam that I've got to pull out and I need to cut this piece down here out which means I'm gonna to have to jack the car up probably pull the tire and get under there with the Avanti wheel that we used this morning and get all the rubberized undercoating seam sealer and panel bond off the rest of the way grind out the uh, spot welds and then we have to fix this mess here and you can see the inner wheel well is it's pushed in a little bit it's not too bad uh, at least from what I can see of it. I think what we'll end up doing um, is probably grinding it out, gr grinding it down a little bit using the stud welder and putting a couple stud welds in and either pulling it back with the uh, Morgan knocker or um, using the pullback ram uh, from on the Porta Power and straightening it up and then taking a hammer and dolly to clean up the rest of it. And then it'll be. Uh, pretty much ready for the new quarter panel, which I have yet to order. Um, we do have some damage down here. I've got to figure out how I'm going to address this. Uh, it was when the door, uh, when the door got bent, it got shoved down into that part of it. So um, we may, I may cut it back here just to clean it up. We'll, we'll see when I get the new quarter panel. We'll do that, we'll address that later. Um, and then up here, I'll have to get cut a little bit tighter uh, for the sectioning lines, but Overall, it was not too bad to get the quarter panel off of this car. Um, it was pretty straightforward. This is the first time I've done it. I took it off in pieces, um, which some of you probably laugh at, um, but this is the first time I've done it. We've got, uh, I, I, this was the piece that uh, I didn't, uh, didn't grind this one all the way, didn't realize it was there. So we'll have to straighten this a little bit with a hammer and dolly, but overall, the rest of it came out really good i'm really impressed with how i got this panel off this car uh, considering this is my first time removing a quarter panel so guys if you really like these videos um no, i'm not gonna stand out there the sun's really bright <laughs> um guys if you really like these videos please turn on your post notifications subscribe and you can follow along on social media i'll put the links in the descriptions uh really you know there's a lot of work that goes into these videos especially with this car um so if you, uh, you know, don't mind liking the video, subscribing, um, turning on your post notifications, I would much appreciate it.